Well, this is Baruch. I'm back at the Tikkun Elevator Kolo, sitting in the lift manager's chair. We're going to bring to you now a short piece from the Hakdamas Tikkun Yazor. So this is actually the Hakdam itself. So we learned a little about the Tikkun Yazor. That is 70 different faces, he says, of secrets based on the word voracious. That's the Tikkun Yazor. Over here, and that's what we're going to be learning during the month of Elul. But over here, we're going to be learning the Hakdoma. The Hakdoma says like this, Kum Rebbe Shimon, get up Rebbe Shimon. Eftach milin kameh shechinta. Begin to speak in the presence of the Shechina. We'll get a different, different translation here in a minute. Let me just read a little something that, it's, that it says over here. It says, Beterim yiftach Rebbe Shimon. Now Rebbe Shimon still has not spoken. He says, Begilu is so the Sefer HaTikunim, where he's going to start explaining the secrets that are contained in the Sefer HaTikunim. Mofia Ma'olam Ma'el Yon appear from the upper world. Nishmas the, the Neshama of the Raya Mehemna, who is Moshe Rabbeinu. Limso lo Rishus, and why does it appear? To give him permission, the permission that comes from the Ains of Baruch Hu, the Asog Begili Sodas Torah to start beginning to say over the Sodas of the Torah. Now it's important to know that during this period of time you see how difficult the story was of Rebbe Shimon. It was a tremendous, this is after the revo, rebellion uh, of uh, Bar Kochva. The tremendous repression came, and the Jews were really virtually on the way on the on the way to being totally annihilated. Comes along Rabbi Shimon with this Rishus. We're in a period that's very similar to this right now. Rishus for the most time to start revealing the secrets of the Torah, and this is what Rabbi Mimran said to me: that now is the time for this. It's not just a small group of people who really know how to pray well. It's for everybody. So here we come like this, and the, the story of the Zohar says like this, Kum Rebbe Shivan, Avtach Milin Kamei Shechinta, begin to speak words, now you are in the presence of the Shechina. Pasuk V'Oma, so he began to speak, and he says this, a, a quote from Sefer Daniel, V'Amaskilem Yaskirek Zorach Avrakia, that the wise men, we'll see what Maskilem means, should shine like the radiance of the heavens. The Gomer, etc. Vahamaskilin, so the Zohar says to Maskilin, what is this? Even Rebbe Shimon Vahavriya. That's really talking about Rebbe Shimon and his yeshiva. Yaskiro Khan is Khan is Kanashiro the Meeva the Hayhibura. They all shined as they came together, they were like a tremendous light. As they came to bed to make this yeshiva. Rushusa yis yehiv lachon. The permission is given to them. Ula Eliyahu anavi. And also with Eliyahu. Imahon who was with them. Lachol nishmasim and all of the other nishamas. Lanachsach of enachach. That come down into the midst of this chabura. Which is now the yeshiva of Rebbe Shimon. <coughs> And to all of the malachim that are hidden, but they appear in the way of the mind. And what is greater than all of this? And permission was given. Now what this means to all of the holy names. Does it mean to use the names? I'm not sure what it means. But we have a Matok, excuse me, we have a Kesar Vakavot. And the next year, we're going to make a translation of this. And we'll be able to see it. And one of the thoughts that we I had that I was, you know, trying to, per, per, to portray is, is that maybe you may want to try to read these words along with me. I'm doing the best I can to be able to translate them. And maybe we could work together to try to get a better reading in it. So we'll be for the next year, God willing, we'll be translating uh, this little pshtikel zoa. This is Baruch Fleischman, and you're listening to the Tikkun Elevator Kolo.